All right guys, so today we're gonna to be installing some 12 uh, inch subwoofers into a uh, 2013 Ford Focus. It's a vehicle I got right here. Um, I got this old sub box. I've had it for a long time. Um, and it's kind of just been sitting around, so I figured I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a sub install. So uh, today we have two 12 inch uh, SCAR audio. They're VD 12 D4s. The VD series is a shallow mount. It's typically for a truck setup, but um, we're going to go ahead and mount it on this box. It's a dual voice coil, 4 ohm setup. We should be able to uh, wire them in series, I believe it's series parallel, uh, to get a 1 ohm impedance for our amp. Uh, we went ahead and got this Boss wiring system. Um, all this came off Amazon. It's, it's, it's quite a bit of a budget setup. Uh, it comes with your 4 gauge uh, power wire, uh, I'll get to that, it's got 4 gauge ground, RCA cables, you got your speaker wire here, your remote wire here, uh, on the back of this it gives you all the detail breakdowns so make sure you're looking at that and make sure that you're going with a gauge that you know works for your setup, 4 gauge is going to work for the setup that we're uh, doing here. This kit comes with this uh, inline fuse from your battery as well. Um, the kit actually doesn't say what amperage it is, but I believe it's 100 amp. Whatever system you're installing, you're going to want uh, at least 100 amp. So what this is is a um, it's an RCA converter essentially for a stock head unit in a vehicle. Most of your aftermarket head units will already have these RCA hookups in the back of them. We are going to convert uh, the stock one to have this RCA hookup for the amplifier just by um, splicing into our speaker wires as the diagram says right here. Kit also comes with all the grommets and zip ties and uh, terminal connections that you're going to need as well as the suggested um, installation how you should route all your wires. The amplifier we're going to work with is the RP1200 uh, 1D. It's another SCAR product again we're going kind of more on the budget end um, from what I'm seeing though with SCAR their budget products give out a pretty decent quality, so should be a pretty nice setup. It does come with a remote um, boost controller, uh, but I believe we're probably not going to install that. So in wiring these subs, we're doing them parallel. I, I believe I misspoke earlier. We're doing them parallel, parallel on the speakers and then parallel into the amp. So the positives ran to the positive here. The negative is ran to the negative here and then when we put them in the amp we have a, two additional wires here that are gonna they're coming over here to the other speaker and one of them's coming off the positive one of them's coming off the negative on the other speaker we're gonna do the same thing with these wires hook them to the positive hook them to the negative and then we will only use this one uh, like terminal right here to run the wires from there to the actual amp Okay, so now that I have this one in, I have the positive and negative that's going to come over to parallel with these positive and negatives right here inside. I have both wires in there. The one that I strip I know is positive. The one that's not is negative. It would definitely help to have different colored wires, but this is the kit that I got. So that's what we're working with. So I know that this is my positive because I stripped it and this is my negative because I didn't strip it. So my two that are stripped I'm going to put together first and then put a, uh, a female terminal terminal end on it and then once that's hooked up then I will go ahead and strip the positive or the negative here and the negative in the box and put the female terminal end on to uh, hook into this uh, port right here. So we now have them all hooked up, they're hooked up on there to the terminal so now we can get both subs in the box and screwed in. Okay so now we're ready to run our power cord on the Focus, the battery's on driver's side but there is a um, 
There is a rubber grommet back here that already pulls through all the electrical. And I cut a hole through the left side there. And you can see how the wire is pulled through. And then we went ahead and moved, removed the glove box, which there are five screws that pull that out. This panel comes off from this side right here. You put something to pry right there, pull it out. And then the, the actual glove box kind of has a little thing that kind of like clip that holds on right here. You pull you pull that clip back and the, and the whole glove box comes out. So you can see right here, right there is where it pulls through that grommet. And then we're gonna end up running it. I believe I'm gonna tuck it under the bottom and it'll come from under here, under the glove box and under this plastic bezel. And we'll run it right here all the way to the back. Okay, so we know how power ran through here, down along here, through here, and then we're gonna run it in between the seat into the back. So we got the RCA cables coming up right now, up to here, and now we're gonna pull this plate off and get into the head unit and hook up our RCA cable adapter. Okay, so the other phone I was recording on died. Got the radio back installed, but under here you can kind of see the blue wire is the remote that got ran to the uh, RCA adapter. Um, and then we did an add a fuse here. Um, this is what I've seen on uh, like YouTube videos and whatnot. I believe it's the uh, window motors, so it's um, key on switched, but if the radio's still on and the key's not on, you're not gonna have uh, subs, which is okay with me, that's fine. Got it ran here, we'll get all the panels backed in and have that tucked, uh, trim back on. Got the subs installed, power in. Ground is running underneath here to a bolt that's on the like frame rail, the piece of metal under there. My wire's plugged in here. RCA is on the other side. And they're in. All I'm doing now is I'm gonna disconnect the battery, get it hooked up, get the uh, positive, the power hooked up to the battery and we should be ready to start. All right, and so here's it attached to the battery. Got the inline fuse right here. Um, if you go to do this, I highly recommend that you cut it a little further down because I've seen people be able to come here on the side of the box and put self-tappers on here on the side of the box. Um, I really wish I would have done that, but I, I, you know, I cut it too short, but it works. It definitely works. It doesn't go nowhere. Uh, and then you can see we have it ran back here, loomed and zip tied up across and then back there where we ran it into the cap. Okay guys, so this is kind of how the final setup is gonna be. Um, the amp is gonna rest behind the sub, just back in here. Um, it's next day. Uh, I went ahead and did some tuning on it. From what I can see, um, the good subsonic to be around is like 35 Hertz or so. So it, it kind of sucks that these are just arbitrary, you know, spots. You can't kind of exactly tell. I'm hoping I'm in like a 35 area, about 80 hertz on the low pass filter. And the gain, I just have it turned uh, maybe a quarter of the way up. Um, not really pushing it right now. I haven't been able to go into like an empty parking lot to do actual tuning, which is where you turn the speaker up until there's no distortion. And then uh, mess with the gain that way. So, you know, I gave it, I listened to it and I gave it one click up on the base, the base boost up to the six decibel mark. And then I turned the gain up just a quarter. Um, really looking at it and listening to it, it doesn't seem like there's any distortion. So it could go up further and it already hits really well. 
uh, and it could hit even harder. So uh, we'll put something on real quick so you can see it. annoy the neighbors but all in all yeah it's pretty um pretty straightforward setup i'm very happy with how it turned out it sounds good the quality sounds good for um scar audio being fairly affordable um i feel like i was only in about 450 to 500 dollars on this whole setup um, it's and that's you know on the stock radio that's not getting an aftermarket head unit uh it definitely sounds like great audio for the price so i'd highly recommend it to anybody anyway guys thank you so much for watching um if you have any questions about the install or if you'd like to see a little bit more of this kind of stuff i'm thinking maybe in the future there could be uh speakers in all the doors that we could swap out to make it even sound even better uh let me know comment down below like and subscribe and we'll be back to posting a little bit more on this channel and i uh, appreciate you guys watching